Today I'm off on a mission. I'm off to see if I can find the source of the River Lee. So that means leaving behind these sorts of glorious vistas I've been having of ripening crops. Uh, I've been walking through these for a couple of days now, but it's time to get a bit real. What I'm walking here, as I head towards the motorway, the M1, is an ancient byway. And this is somewhat different from a footpath and follows really ancient tracks but unfortunately the hedges either side mean that it's totally encrusted with insects which are going for the sweat that's literally pouring off me at the moment so I think I'm going to hurry through this as quick as I can Well you don't need me to tell you that that's the motorway there, the M1 uh, going across that bridge over there I'm just about to cross over the motorway which means I'm about to enter Luton Luckily there's a bridge over the motorway which, well let's have a look, there it is the M1 In fact I'm actually heading for the northern edge of Luton into Lee Grave and seeing as the clues in the name that's the route I'm going to take this byway is quite literally on the edge of Luton with fields on one side and then housing on the other. You may have spotted this water tower just then and I should have thought it through really but of course that's on top of the hill and it's been a bit of a climb up here but it also marks where this footpath will take me into the heart of Lee Grave. So here I go, making sure that I miss out on the wonderful discarded mattress along the way. So rather unexpectedly there's now this rather nice little woodland path which is taking me down between the houses which is going to bring me to the open space where the map says that the source of the Lee lies. So let's see if I can find it in this lovely dry weather we've been having. And here it is, the source of the River Lee. Or more accurately, here it is, uh, as expected, fairly dry. This isn't actually the true source. It's actually where the uh, runoff from rainwater from the roads comes down and joins the Lee. But uh, seeing as we haven't had much of that over the last few weeks, unsurprisingly, it's pretty damn dry. A couple hundred yards further away is Sundon Brook, which some regard actually as the true source of the Lee. So this is about as close as we can get to Sundon Brook. And just to complete the picture, here's a discarded football and a couple of supermarket trolleys. Back on the Lee, uh, there's no doubt about it, but this is water, so it uh, now has its own integrity. And yes, that wasn't algae in the, in the water, it's actually watercress, but as you can see, not fit for human consumption. That's more like it, a proper river now, complete with ducks and everything. 